We hear a lot of people say that music is subjective and therefore the way we mix and master also becomes subjective. And obviously when you're mastering, you're going to sit for a very long time and figuring out ways to just make your mastered output sound great. Now if you're someone who's thinking I really don't have the time and I just want to quickly master and get a really good output, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips that you can follow to quickly get a mastered output. And in addition, I'm going to show you a special website that will literally master your tracks in two minutes so stick till the end of the video to understand how to quickly master your songs I'm Florina Jane otherwise known as flow of music and I put out a lot of music production related videos so if that's something that you like then hit the subscribe button so let's get into the video now mastering is all about a tiny balance that you're gonna do on a track and that also involves EQ. Now, if you don't want to sit and wait for us trying out different EQ filters and seeing if it'll work or not, then you can use this plugin called as Tonal Balance. So this is Tonal Balance Control 2. It's part of Isotope and you can select the genre of your song. So my song comes under pop. So I'm just going to click that. This actually tells me the right range for my EQ for different frequencies. And if it goes above or below, then I need to accordingly make my EQ changes. So let's listen and see. So I can see that most of the lines are within the range specified in Tonal Balance plugin except for high mids. So if I had to do EQ, I will just add EQ above that and I'll just raise the highs a little bit. So I'll probably not use channel EQ. I'll rather use linear phase EQ so you avoid some phasing issues. The changes that I had to do were between 2000 to around 8000. So if I use this, I'll probably do a small increase like that and make it a little bit wider. So this is probably the change I will do. So using tonal balance will really help you to place your EQ well and it will help you understand what you're really missing. The frequency range that you are probably lacking or something that's really a lot in your song. This definitely saves up a lot of time because otherwise I'll be moving around different filters and checking if I like the sound or not. So this is one quick way to put your EQ. The second tip is to add a compressor with a preset. Now I'm going to demonstrate this with Fab Filters. This is a compressor from Fab Filter. It's Pro C2. I am directly going to change this to mastering and I'm also going to turn auto gain off. Now you can do minimal changes and more or less the song is going to sound great. We'll check it out. So this actually gives you a really nice preset. And you can just move around some knobs and just do it according to your track. But you don't necessarily have to do a lot of change with threshold and ratio. Small changes is going to bring that output well. I really like how mastering sounds, so you can also try that. Now, all the plugins that we spoke about dealt with enhancing this track. But mastering is all about bringing the volume to a level suitable for streaming services. This is a limiter plugin from Isotope Ozone 9 Master Rebalance. Our aim is to first make the ceiling to minus one. I have opened a plugin called Ulean Loudness Meter 2 and I have put that on the stereo out. Now we are going to look at the integrated and the short term LUFS when the track is being played. So it shows minus 23, minus 25. I'm going to keep lowering the threshold till I reach a value between minus 14 to minus 9. These are the values that Spotify and other streaming platforms are looking for. You can go even higher, but just be sure to not go really loud. Otherwise, all these streaming platforms might compress your file. So you just need to make sure that that is not happening. Now we spoke about three important tips. 
But now we're going to talk about a website that's going to literally give you a mastered output doing all these things in just under two minutes. And that website is called as Prestige Audio AI. This is how the website looks like. And I am going to select AI presets. It has loaded and it becomes like this. Now let me drop my mix. I am going to click and drag it inside this. I am just going to double click to select the entire region. Your track has to be in stereo. If it is not in stereo, you can go to settings, stereo mono, and then here you will have an option to change it to stereo now there are just three things that you need to do in this i will first go to ai 400 british tube eq and i will just select magic and i'll apply that hold on for a while till the effect is applied next i'm going to go to parametric eq and i am going to put this one this preset and i'm going to click apply and lastly i'm going to go to compressor and I am going to select the third one in this, click apply. And that's it. Technically, you finished mastering. So I'll play a section. Not bad. It sounds really good. So it hardly took me two minutes to finish mastering this song. And I'm happy with how it's sounding. Yes, I feel safe. Anyways, this was a rough track that I just wanted to try mastering, but then it actually has a lot of clarity and it uh, kind of fixed the dynamics and it actually sounds great. So this is Prestige Audio AI. It really works in two minutes. Okay, you don't even have to do anything else. You can just mess around with all these EQ knobs and see what other presets they've got. But right after this, you just double click and go to settings and you need to download it. That's it. Now, I feel this is especially useful for any beginner who's starting out with mixing and mastering and have no idea how to master their songs or bring it to a particular level. Or even professionals who just don't have the time for mastering a song. You can go over to Prestige Audio AI and you can quickly master your songs. You can try out all the presets that they have. And I feel it's a really good website for mastering. So if you want to check out this website for your songs, the link is in my description. So don't forget to click that and check out this website. To be honest, when I started out, I had no idea idea about mastering and I just learned it on my own so it took a lot of time and therefore I had a lot of songs just piled up inside my finder window. I never really looked into that later on but I think websites like Prestige Audio AI really speed up the workflow, they give you really good outputs and that really helps us to work faster and motivates us to do more music as well right because your post production process is finishing soon. So do check it out in the description, the link is in my description, check it out and see if it works for you. I hope this video was useful, thank you so much for watching, keep making music and I'll see you guys in another video.